guys, I'm here to do my UFC 88 breakthrough predictions. Um, we'll start from the bottom to the top. Um, Jason Lambert versus Jason McDonald. Uh, both of these guys are pretty good at striking. Uh, I give a little bit more to Jason McDonald on the striking. Um, and I really think that uh, Jason Lambert's going to come in here a little bit too aggressive. And for some reason, I think this fight's going to go to the ground, and Jason McDonald will end up uh, getting an arm or uh, Jason Lambert's neck and getting a second round submission. Um, the next fight, Roe Canero versus R Rio Chonin. Um, I've been waiting for this fight for from UFC 85, and this should be a hell of a match, but... Uh, I will have to go with the uh, crafty little bastard Rio Chonin. Um, I think submission wise they're about the same but Rio Chonin's a crafty guy and I think he'll win it by submission or unanimous decision. Um, next fight Dong Young Kim versus Matt Brown. Uh, both of these guys are strikers and I, I give more of the strike, the crisp striking to Dong Yong Kim, um, and that's why I'm going to take Dong Yong Kim because, in my opinion, he's the better, well-rounded fighter, and I, I'm saying Dong Yong Kim, unanimous decision, Tim Boish versus Mike Pat, um, I, I think Mike Pat's a pretty good, uh, for uh, jiu-jitsu guy, submission guy, and but I think Mike Pat hasn't had any uh, guys, hasn't fought any guys like Tim Bush, and I think Tim Bush should come in there and win a uh, early second round to KO. Um, Tiago Tavares versus Kirk Pellegrino. I wasn't really impressed by Tiago Tavares' last fight, but. Uh, I'm going to say the Batman's going to come in here for revenge on the Joker and um, get a second round TKO. Martin Campman versus Nate Marquardt. Um, if Martin can't finish Nate on the feet, uh, Campman will try for submission and stay on top most of the fight and get out of decision. Split or unanimous. Um, the next fight. Dan Henderson versus Russell Rasmar Pal Harris. Um, this fight will be a great fight, or it could be a boring fight. Um, either way, I see Henderson winning because I can't see Henderson losing three times in a row. And Hendo has great knockout power, and I don't think uh, Rasmar Pal Harris's uh, chin has been tested yet, so. I'm going to say um, second round KO or TKO. Um, Caro Parisian versus Yoshiyuki Yoshida. Um, both of these guys are good, good judo guys. And I think this will end up going to the ground. And Yoshiyuki Yuki, Yoshida, uh, I think, has better uh, jujitsu, and that will end up. Uh, being the factor in this uh, this fight. Now I'm saying third round submission for Yoshiyuki Yoshida. Uh, the next fight, Rich Franklin versus Matt Hamill. I like both of these guys, but um, as you've seen on the Ultimate Fighter, um, Matt Hamill couldn't take a, a lot of punches to the chin, and that's what got him uh, taken out of the Ultimate Fighter that one season. And I, th I think Rich Franklin has too good of striking for uh, Matt Hamill. And I'm sure Matt Hamill will get him down a couple times, but Rich Franklin will just get right back up. And I figure Rich Franklin will get this second round TKO. The next fight, Chuck Liddell versus Rashad Evans. Classic matchup, striker versus wrestler. And I can't see Rashad winning this fight unless his striking has improved and shocks a lot of 
and shocks a lot of us, but um, he's got a puncher's chance, but I don't think that's going to happen. Chuck will defend shot after shot, and will get a, and Rashad will uh, get a hit to the head and get rocked and get TKO'd second round. That's my predictions, and I'll see y'all next time.